collection of all my movies is going to be premium boutique steelbook regular ones with some stuff in between so first off thank you for watching second uh, I have links in the description if they're Amazon links they're gonna be affiliate links that will give me a little bit of a percentage if you buy something so that's a way to support the channel have a little bit of a income there um, another way you can support my channel is by subscribing I do have a patreon so thank you very much to my patreons I really appreciate it it's it's an honor um, another way that you can uh, help out is with affiliate links I do have a PayPal you can donate you can uh, I have an Amazon list you can buy a gift I have some cheap movies any way you can help I really appreciate you could share my videos you could subscribe and all of that good stuff so please enjoy the video please comment what is your favorite uh, movie that I own what is your favorite set release uh, that I own and if you have any questions about any of the movies that I own, where to get them, uh, let me know. Um, I do get them from Amazon. I get them from my premiums. Absolutely get them from MediaCycles.com. That's a great community, so I'll leave that link in the description. And if you have any doubts about any of the movies, check out my channel. I do have unboxings for almost all of the premiums, boutique, all of those. So you want to see what the insides look like? Just check out the channel, check out the unboxing section. All right, guys, enjoy it, and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. All right, so we are going to start with the premiums. So I have some of the box sets and the premiums up here. So that's a quick overview of what we have there. So let's start up there. We have Stranger Things 2 and Stranger Things. That is from Target. Then we have the Studio Ghibli Collector's Edition. We have Princess Mononoke and Spirited Away. I'm still trying to buy the third one. James Bond 50, that collects up to, I think, Spectre? I don't know. But it does have some Daniel Craig movies in there. This is my wife's. This is a Breaking Bad from Germany. That's the actual camper. Really cool. I do have a video about that one. This is the Superman pin. Uh, it brings Superman Man of Steel, I mean, uh, movie, which is pretty cool. I like the, that setup, how it looks. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, one of my favorite movies from last year. And this is a collector's edition. I think this is out of print. And it does bring a 45 uh, size disc uh, LP for your turntable. Criterion's Godzilla, the Showa era. Uh, this is just massive. I mean, this is... That thing is massive, so that's pretty cool. Love it. Been watching those, getting through those. That's the Jurassic Park in front of the Ben Hur 50th anniversary edition. Uh, Band of Brothers with the Pacific, the Steven Spielberg presents. That's a nice set. Uh, Harry Potter, the Hogwarts collection. I absolutely love that. That is one of my favorite uh, series of movies. That's a lot of movies, but I. Really enjoy them. I'll watch them later on in life, but completely love it. Did read the books though. Back here we have Scarface, the world, the world is yours, a limited edition, which brings the Scarface from the 30s and the newest one, which is like from the 80s, so not really new. All right, we have Akira. This is from Kimchi DVD, but it's called something else. Let's see what it's called. Some life, something like that. Uh, F Y I V E, so something like that. 
Uh, Sicario, Day of the Soldado, that's the, another one click. And that's from the blue collection. Really cool. So that's a one click, that's a one click. Insidious, another one. Very, very cool one click. This is the FAC, Film Arena Collection, something like that. This is the Maniacs box for Deadpool 2. It's just, it's massive. This is really deep. This is like two one clicks. It's just Maniac. It's, it's crazy. We have <clears throat> Aquaman from HD Zeta. This is the gold label one click. And we're going to go backwards with the Dark Knight. So the Dark Knight Rises, which is the last movie. And here is the Media Cycle coin. So if you're thinking about getting some of these one clicks, any of the premiums, I recommend going to MediaCycles.com. So this is Dark Knight Rises HD Zeta one click. The Dark Knight HD Zeta one click. All of these are gold label. Batman Begins, also one click from HD Zeta. And Ready Player One, another one click from HD Zeta. We have the Venom one click from Blue Fans. And Spider Man Into the Spider Verse, one click from Blue Fans. <clears throat> I really enjoyed Venom and I really loved Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Recommended. We have Shape of Water, Mantelab, Guillermo del Toro, one of my favorite directors, and that is the one click from Mantelab. And then we have the World Cinema Library edition of 2001 A Space Odyssey, this in 4K. It brings a whole bunch of stuff. It is just insane. Check out my video if you want to see the contents of this one. So those are the top row of my shelving unit so we could get a like a, a nice little pan view let's see if i could adjust this a little bit all right so next we're gonna go and look at these rows because i do have some premiums in here this is the everything blue the mummy trilogy collection which i think it's upside down by the way so let's flip through this guy and it should be like this i don't know somebody flipped it all right there it is so that's the mummy trilogy steel books amazing zavi uh the avengers end game collector's edition and it lights up i had some issues with zavi with this um some damage it's really cool, but uh, the customer service was really crappy. We have another <clears throat> super cool set. This is Schindler's List. Look at that. And this is the collector's edition and it's leather bound. So it's really awesome. We have the Fight Club. This is from M Life. This is not a steel book, but this is a premium set. Oh, let me get it in. There you go. Chucky Complete 7 Movie Edition. And then we have some box sets that we will talk about that later. Let's see. Do we have any other ones? Yes, we have some more here. So this one's cool. Batman Beyond the Complete Series. Batman the Complete Animated Series. Batman uh, the four original movies uh and steelbook 4k then we have this one this is touch of evil very nice this is the world cinema library very nice edition and i completely love this movie really great movie recommended then we just have some other movies down here and hitchcock's house collection set so those are the premiums up there. And then on the next section, we are going to talk about the steel books that, you know, go some areas. Oh, before I forget, another premium. This is 
Gilda from World Library Cinema. Very nice set too. And I do have a video about that one too. All right, guys. Wait for the next section. All right, so this is going to be the Steelbook section. Um, it's almost a whole shelf. Almost, almost. Because it does spill over. So let's start with the top part. These are going to be the premium ones. I don't have it in any weird specific order. You'll see some of my chaotic organizational skills are crazy. So let's start with this one. Inglorious Bastards from Manta Lab. Uh, did I take out the steel book? No, but I do have a video about this one. So this is Manta Lab. Uh, some bit of a lenticular. Really like that movie. We have this one from what is this kimchi DVD? I don't remember who made this one. See, sometimes I don't know what I got. I think it's kimchi DVD. Uh, kimchi DVD does a lot of stuff and has different names. So this is a Predator steel book with a slip cover, and it's uh, I should say there. Uh, it's wheat collection, which I think I don't know. Really cool steel book. <clears throat> the movie was okay. Now we have Venom from Blue Fans. That's from the One Click. And it does have a steel book that is different. So we have <clears throat> this one, which is really cool. And then here's the other one. And I think that's the steel book that's different. And a double lenticular, which is pretty awesome. All right, so it brings those steel books, which was I was pretty happy with those. And I think I have another steel book of Venom somewhere here. Venom. All right, so I'll I'll come back. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. This is going to be the double lenticular. Very cool. I like that movie. I like the soundtrack. I like the whole concept of it. Single lenticular. Very cool. This is also from Blue Fans. Look at that. Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Nice. Now we have Akira from Ive Entertainment, which I think it's also a Kimchi DVD. I don't know. But oh my God, just look at that. Look at that. Look at the lenticular effect on this. It's just gorgeous. And like always, I do have a video of that. And this is just like the regular one. All right, because I don't want to knock down Mr. Aquaman here. So Aquaman is the next one. Cool movie, cool steel book. This is the HD Zeta. That's the double lenticular. Which I might put this one showing. I like that one more. All right, so I'm trying to do this with one hand and a gimbal, so I'm sorry. Ready Player One, which is just also a great movie. And this is, I think, the double lenticular. This one brought a bunch of goodies. This is from HD Zeta. <clears throat> Down here, we have Batman Begins from HD Zeta. Let me just look at that. We have the Dark Knight. All of these are going to be HD Zeta, by the way. All the way till Despicable Me 3. The Dark Knight. Oh, I have it. No, oh, I have it. Okay. The Dark Knight with the Joker, which is more like a Joker movie. The Dark Knight Rises. I'll adjust the camera a little bit. And then this is the double lenticular, which is awesome with Bane and Batman. So nice. I haven't even opened this one completely. This is Sing from HD Zeta. It's a cool movie, cool kids movie. I haven't even opened it because I, I just have it. I don't know where. Digital, I think. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. My wife loves this movie. 
uh, she says The Rock is her boyfriend. So, Dwayne Johnson, can you please give her a shout out one of these days so she could just be quiet about it? All right. Um, Suicide Squad. I know a lot of people didn't like this movie. I did enjoy it. I didn't love it. I didn't like the Joker as much, but he looks cool here. I'm sorry, but he looks cool. I did like uh, Birds of Prey a little bit more. Fast and Furious 8 from HDZ. These are just getting tired. I don't know. Despicable Me 3 from HDZ. And if you're curious about the protectors, I bought these protectors from Steelbook Central. I'll leave the link in the description. Also, if you're thinking about buying any of these premiums, I recommend you pre-order, get into group buys at mediacycles.com. You can find me there, uh, Romero Land. That's my tag. Also, it's easier to just get them through mediacycles.com. I have a video on how to do the group buys. I'm not getting paid by them, by the way. So these I bought with my own money. All right, uh, Plane Archive from uh, Perea. This is Seoul Station and Train to Busan. The Train to Busan is the actual movie and Soul Station is like the prequel to this out of what happened and it's an animated movie, just so you know. Uh, also, the steelbook on this one glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. All right, this is from the Blue Collection, Sicario, Day of the Soldado. I'll say in Spanish, Sicario, Day of the Soldado. So I don't sound weird. All right, what else do we have here? So we have the cool steel book, by the way, and this, this is just awesome. If you can see it, that's just awesome. There's like little minute details there. All right, Shape of Water from Mantelab. Oh, such a great movie. I know some people didn't like it. I did enjoy it. Look at that. Very, very cool. All right, so that's two rows now. Now let's go on to the third row. I'm adjust my camera a little bit. We got Rogue One from Blue Fence. It'll come up again because I did pull it out from in here. Deadpool 2. This is the one that I was talking about. This is from, uh, what's it called? What's this company called? This is the Maniacs box, uh, FAC. Film Arena from the Czech Republic. Deadpool 2, this is just insane. I I'm talking about insanity. If you buy these Maniac boxes, you are a maniac. I just bought one, it's pricey, but it's just insane. You get four steel books. It's just nuts. Look at, look at the size of this one. Two books, it brought a gift. It just, just nuts. All right. I love it, by the way. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Nova Media. Insidious. Cool movie. I'm trying to collect all the James Wan, all these movies. It's just I'm trying to get into these scary ones. So those are the end, I think, of my Steelbook premiums. Um, there is the Mummy and the Zombie. So let's get to those real quick. So this is the Everything Blue. The mummy collection and you can see the steel books there i believe these are in 4k then we have avengers endgame bam and this is the zavi one that had some issues with the shipping let's see if it glows so yeah it lights up but i had this big Big dent because they send it to Mexico in a bubble wrap. Oh no, they sent it in a tiny box that it ripped. What's another steel book I have around here? This is a steel book. No, I don't think this is a steel book. Schindler's List. I don't think that's a steel book. No, I think that's all the steel books here. Um, in addition to that, we have the Batman collection 4K Ultra HD. Oh, look at that. Let's pull this puppy out. This is from Best Buy, by the way. So if you haven't seen the unboxing, I recommend it. If you haven't subscribed, I recommend it too. All right, so let's get back to where we were. 
Here's where the insanity starts. And it's just a couple shelves. I don't go completely bonkers on everything. <clears throat> John Wick had like a ton of crazy amount of steel bullets. So here you have John Wick from Target. Oh, with dog. John Wick 3, by the way. John Wick 3 from Walmart. I had to get this one, of course. John Wick 3 from Best Buy. And John Wick 3, right here. Mini Steel Book from GameStop, I think this was. Yeah, a fellow guy from Reddit helped me acquire this so pretty cool thank you guy um let's put that one right here so yeah four steel books for that movie i think that and deadpool 2 have the most steel books but this has the most distinct different steel books so deadpool has three the same and one different something like that so deadpool has i think five deadpool 2 all right, so that's John Wick 3. Now we have Spider-Man Far From Home. This is, I think this is the Best Buy. This has to be the Best Buy. Spider-Man Far From Home. This is the one that I got here in Mexico, which is different, the Mysterio. Let me put this one here. Then we have Spider-Man Far From Home. Homecoming, Venom, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, all in one. Steelbook. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Then we have the Legacy Spider-Mans. Spider-Man, and I bought these magnets. We have a little bit of an interruption, a little potty break. So I got these magnets right there because they have no title. Oh, look, what movie is that? I don't know. So I got these from eBay. I'll probably leave the link in the description. He's also from Reddit. We have the other Spider-Man. And this is the red one here. Venom, we already saw this a little bit earlier. Deadpool. Deadpool 2. The super duper cut from Best Buy. The film arena uh, Deadpool 2, which now that makes five Deadpool steel books. But four are the same. One is different. Yeah. Alright, now Avengers. Oh, this is Avengers. Which one is this one? I have them. This is Endgame. Sorry, I don't have them in order. I think I just I don't know. This is Infinity War. Age of Ultron. I don't have all of the Marvel Steelbooks. A lot, a lot of people are collecting them, but hey man, it gets expensive. We have Ant-Man. Captain Marvel from Best Buy. X-Men Apocalypse. And a Metal Pack X-Men of Days of Future Past. And back here we have another mini. This is John Wick Chapter 1 and 2. You already saw these. So let's get on to the next one. Here are the Mill Creek Steelbooks, which have their own slip cover. We have Mothra, oh, such a good movie. Ultra Q from the series, so this is going to be series one. Ultra, Ultraman, Ultraman, and this is series two. Ultraman Ultra 7, series three. I'm missing four and five will be coming out soon. So now we have the Star Wars. Look at that, Revenge of the Sith. I don't know if I even have these in order, so sorry. Star Wars Attack of the Clones. The Phantom Menace, yeah, absolutely don't have them in order. Solo. Rogue One, this is the blue fans, that's why it's here. Star Wars in New Hope. The 
Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. The Force Awakens. The Last Jedi. And then the newest one will be filling in this gap. Now my next part is mainly DC, DC movies, and then it jumps into DC animated. So we have Aquaman, which is like the cartoonish looking. Justice League. Shazam, oh, such a nice one. Now we have animated, Reign of the Superman. Justice League Dark, really enjoyed that movie. Batman and Harley Quinn, Justice League versus Teen Titans, Justice League The New Frontier, I haven't even opened it, Justice League versus Teen Titans, again, yeah, hmm. Batman Bad Blood, Justice League Throne of Atlantis, Batman versus Robin, Justice League uh, Gods and Monsters, Batman Ninja, Son of Batman, and Batman the Killing Joke. So, that's another shelf down, and let's go on to the next one. Now we have the Hunger Games. Pretty cool movie. Hunger Games uh, Catching Fire, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1, and Part 2. There it is. All right, so some of the Disney movies that I have in on Steelbook, I'll be Toy Story 4, Big Hero 6, one of my favorite Steelbooks, absolutely. I land the uh, actual life action. Mary Poppins Returns, I enjoyed it. Where's Mary Poppins? Uh, the Incredibles, and there's Mary Poppins, the OG. So that's, that's my gigantic Disney collection for uh, Steelbooks. Then we have Paul, Shape of Water, which I have no clue what's, what's it doing down here. <clears throat> Lawless, Space Jam, Sucker Punch. So because of Space Jam, I wanted those Jordans. Uh, what were they like, white with purple? Oh my God, I love those. Still want them. Ninjago the movie. Yu Yu Kaiyusho. Oh, come on, they got stuck. There you go. I only have the first season. So I think they're already up to four. So I need to do some catching up. Whoa. Almost lost it there. Jumanji. The Meg. Metropolis. That's another steelbook from Mill Creek. Very, very nice steel book, by the way. I recommend you picking that up. Atomic Blonde. Such a cool one, too. The Fifth Element. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Jack the Giant Slayer. Very cool. All right, now let's get on to some of the scary ones. So let me... All right, Salem's Lot. Salem's Lot, Dracula, The Invisible Man, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Mummy, Frankenstein, The Bride of Frankenstein, Wolfman, let me adjust this. The Fly, now these are the Dia de Muertos, the Day of the Dead edition. I think I got these from Best Buy. So we saw the fly. The other side of the door. Carrie. From Hell. The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, the Return of the Living Dead. Child's Play. Jeepers Creepers. 
wrong turn. Oh, that looks cool. And killer clowns from outer space. Continuing with the scary stuff, Nova Media Insidious. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Really cool set of stories. The Lords of Salem. Then we have A Quiet Place, which number two is coming out. Psycho. Such a cool one. Alien Covenant. Jennifer's Body. That doesn't look scary, does it? No, it doesn't look scary. All right. Let the right one in. Shaun of the Dead. Oh, such a cool zombie movie. Hellboy 2. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Django Unchained. The J is silent. Assault on Precinct 13. And Von Helsing with Wolverine. I mean, Hugh Jackman. All right, so let's get down here. Let me try to adjust myself here. I'm getting low down here. All right, let's adjust the camera a little bit. So what do we have here? Jurassic World with blue. Very cool. Straight out of Compton. I love the soundtrack. Die Hard Collection. Almost finished watching that with my wife. Apocalypse Now. Gotta get that with my wife too. The Hangover Part 3. Bought this one here in Mexico. For cheap, eh? This was like two, three bucks. The Gambler. Very cool. San Andreas. It's on Netflix now. Well, at least here in Mexico. Dark Tower with Roland. That's my name. Terminator Genesis. Fast and Furious 6. Pacific Rim Uprising. Rampage. Another movie from my wife's boyfriend. Fury. Snatch. The Martian, Bohemian Rhapsody, which my wife loved, but she didn't even want to watch it in the movie theater, so go figure. Transformers, oh god, I love it. Edge of Tomorrow, Live, Die, Repeat, The Hobbit, uh, this is what, The Desolation of Smog, uh, we have a steelbook for a... PS4 game, Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, Total Recall, that's the newest one, with Colin Farrell, Interstellar, such a great movie, Hotel Transylvania 3, Furious 7, Whiplash, one of my favorite music movies of all time, Bumblebee, Good movie, by the way. American Sniper. Evil Dead. Metal Gear Rising. This is like a DVD size. And this one, which is weird. This is Thor. But it's not the Thor that you would think. Like the Zavi European with the... This is like DVD size. Pay attention there. So I don't know, I found this in a market here in Mexico for like $3, so I can't complain. Well, another steelbook, Death Stranding. Such a good freaking weird game. All right, so that is my steelbook collection. I think that's all the steelbooks that I have, unless some of them sneaked somewhere, but I don't think so. Uh, no, that's it. All right, let's look at another section. All right, so we already looked at the steelbooks. We already looked at the premiums up there. Now let's look into the boutique. What is the boutique? It's between regular releases 
and premium releases. Premium sometimes are more mainstream movies. These are going to be less mainstream. Some are mainstream, but some are more curated uh, selection of movies. So the top shelf, we have Arrow Video. George A. Romero, Between Night and Dawn. Three good movies in here. Uh, what does this mean? So we have There's Always Vanilla, Season of the Witch, and The Crazies. It, this box set is between Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Living Dead. He made some movies in between. Robocop, the OG. Ringo, which is a Japanese one. It brings all three. Hellraiser, one, two, and three. This is region B, by the way. Brain Damage, such a creepy good movie. Children of the Corn. We have Creep Show 2. The Andromeda Strain, which is a good movie. Recommended. Um, we have now Criterion, which we also have Criterion up here. That big giant Godzilla guy. Yeah. So let's go on to this one. Fantastic Mr. Fox, Seven Samurai, Jackie Chan, which is Police Story 1 and 2, The Night of the Living Dead, Rashomon from Akira Kurosawa, which is these two, Seven Samurai and this one. Blowout, and now we have 88 films. These are three Jackie Chan movies. Dragon Fist, Battle Creek Brawl, and The Protector. I love Jackie Chan, so I'm gonna be getting more of his movies. Now I have five here, just here. 101 films, we have Prom Night, Howard the Duck, Existence, Existence, something like that, I can't pronounce it. Uh, we also have now, bam, look at that, Vinegar Syndrome, which I should put these backwards. I don't know why they're like that. So I can see the little girl, the little logo there. Now it is. We have Spookies and Tammy and the T-Rex with Denise Richards and Paul Walker, which is weird. And it's a lenticular and I think this is our first 4k if I'm not mistaken all right so that's the top shelf for my boutique now these are not boutique but these are special it the OG this is a DVD and it the new one these were bought for me by my sister so I really appreciate it. that's why they're up here these are really cool and I cannot show them because my wife gets scared of their faces. So I just kind of put them away. Now we have Screen Factory. They're kind of mixed here because somebody was playing with them. We have Creep Show, George A. Romero and Stephen King. Love it. Then we have the Tiger of Eshampur and the Indian Tune. This is from, oh, what was this? I forgot what label this is. The film movement, I think. We'll see. Thunder Road, another small label. Kino Lover, I don't have too many of them, but I at least I have one. The Taken of Film on One Two Three, which they did a, a remake with, I think John Travolta. Psycho from Scream. The Howling from Scream Factory. Mill Creek gets a nice shout out here with. Uh, the Last Action Hero and the VHS slip cover and Crawl with the VHS slip cover. World Cinema Library with Gilda, which is this is a premium, so it's not a a boutique. And that's pretty much it with my boutique. Then from here on, we start with the four Ks. So we have The Purge. This is the three film collection. The Secret Life of Pets. Two. The first Purge, Suspiria, which I haven't seen it yet, on 4K, by the way. And this is the original one. Pretty cool. Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them, Kong, Skull Island, Dunkirk, oh, such a good one. Hellboy, the original one. It, Chapter 2, Overlord. Such a good movie too. Don't 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 skip on this one. 
Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Scarface, this is the one that brings both Scarface. Scary Stories and Where to Tell Them. Oh no, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. <laughs> Hellboy, Blood and Iron, this is the two film uh, features. These are animated. And E.T., the Extraterrestrial in 4K. Alrighty, so that is pretty much those shelves right there. Now, we have also some here. So we have the Fly Collection. This is from Scream. So this could be considered boutique. We have Indicator, Hammer, and we have four films here. We have the Snorkel, Never Take Sweets from a Stranger, The Full Treatment, and Cash on Demand, COD. Limited edition, by the way. All right, so those are pretty much it. We have Schindler's List, which is premium, steel books, box sets, box sets. All right, we are good. Now let's jump onto my little DC collection and then that jumps into Marvel. Did you book for Wonder Woman? Did you book for Suicide Squad? There it is. We have a great movie called Green Lantern. I'm joking, sarcasm, don't kill me. Constantine. We have the OG Batman movies, the legacy ones. Uh, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and Dark Knight Rises. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Watchmen, the director's cut, and this one just stuck to it, and the complete uh, motion comic. Sin City, The Spirit, 300, 300 Rise of an Empire, Kick-Ass, Kick-Ass number two, and animated. All-Star Superman, Batman, Assault on Arkham, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, Gotham Knight, Green Lantern Emerald Knights, Justice League New Frontier, Green Hornet, Wolverine vs. X-Men, this is like a series 3, we have the Wolverine, great movie, Fantastic Four, Hulk versus, and then there's Thor and Wolverine. Another Fantastic Four, and a whole bunch of X-Men. Out of order, absolutely. X-Men, X-Men First Class, X-Men Last Stand, X-Men Wolverine Origins, X2, X-Men United. I have no clue what order they go. Doesn't even matter, their timelines are all messed up. All right, so let's see if we can focus here. Now we have some Marvel stuff. The Amazing Spider-Man, El Increíble Hulk, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Thor, the three movie set. So Thor, Thor, Dark World, and Thor Ragnarok. This is from the Europe, UK, probably. Capitan America, El Primer Vengador. So the Captain America First Avenger. Captain America Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War, The Avengers, Ant-Man, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Homecoming, War Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardianes de la Galaxia, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and that's pretty much my Marvel MCU. We have some box sets here. Star Wars, The Complete Saga, Matrix, Ultimate Collection, Heroic Age, Lord of the Rings, The Complete Set, Back at the Future, Back to the Future, Complete Set, and Stargate Atlantis. So not forgetting, we have these movies right here which are the graphic novels with the movie so we have the death of superman wonder woman gods and monsters justice league origin 
Superman Public Enemies, Justice League Throne of Atlantis, Under the Red Hood, Batman Year One, and this is JLA Earth Two, Batman Black and White. So these are in a different section because that's my, you know, my book section. With my 2099 collection there. And then just imagine signed by Stanley himself. Now let's look at some of the box sets here. We have Batman Beyond the Complete Series, Batman the Animated Series, the Batman Steelbooks, which we already looked at, Touch of Evil, 4K Born, the collection, the Ultimate Collection, Doctor Who, the complete David Tennant collection, and this is the House of Alfred Hitchcock collection. On this other side, we're going to have Star Trek, the original picture motion collection, the original motion picture collection. That's the second set. Chucky, complete seven movie collection. Fight Club, Schindler's List, Avengers Endgame, Mummy Trilogy. That's just the three original ones with, uh, what was his name? Yeah, him. He was cool. George of the Jungle Guy. The Fly Collection. Indicator from, it's the Hammer, four movies. Farscape 20th Anniversary, the complete series. Superman, the motion picture anthology. So from 1978 to 2006. The Ambok Trilogy, which I really enjoyed. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and what do we have down here? 50 Years of Planet of the Apes. Down here, we do have some other box sets. Uh, an extra hammer one, you know, different story to tell. Alien Anthology, Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy, Rocky, the complete one, uh, all the way to Rocky Balboa, not to Creed. Samurai 7 and Home Alone Collection. That's That tire right here is for Fast and the Furious. All right, so then we have a whole bunch of little DVDs and Abbott and Costello Universal Complete Collection, which is just insane. That's a whole bunch of movies in there. Ton, 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 ton of content. So I do want to show you real quick my game collection. So we do have some playstation 4 that's the only system i have from the two big ones i do have a nintendo switch and there they are so what do we have here we have jacuzza death stranding spider-man call of duty advanced warfare medieval shamu 1 and 2 shamu 3 far cry 4 uncharted persona resident evil 7 the evil within 2 injustice 2 crash I have to get crashed the insane trilogy. <coughs> FIFA, Metal Gear Solid 5, Madden 15, wow, 15, Jesus Christ. Just Dance 2007, that's for my wife. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, Far Cry Primal, Ace Combat 7, Tekken 7, J Stars Victory VS Plus, FIFA 15, Batman Arkham Knight. Monster Hunter World Iceborne Horizon Destiny 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 Star Wars Battlefront uh, Phantom Pain from Metal Gear Solid and PS3 Arkham Asylum Metal Gear Solid the complete collection Metal Gear Rising Batman which one's this one? That's the Arkham Origins and Arkham City for the PS3 we also have Nintendo Switch games. <coughs> we have Starlink, Battle for Atlas, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Final Fantasy, Super Mario Odyssey, Dragon Mark for Death, Spyro Reignited Trilogy, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, which is a fun family game. Let me adjust this. There you go. Uh, Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, another family game. Crash Team Racing. It's kind of difficult for some of the people to play. Mario Kart, awesome. Killer Queen Black, another cool, cool game. <coughs> so those are my games. 
and we can get into some of the movies here. I just want to point out some really cool ones that I, I enjoyed. 2001 Space Odyssey, Akira, such a good game. Annabelle, I want to collect all of these from this universe. Can't go wrong with Blade Runner. Either one, Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049. <clears throat> Boondock Saints, another fun movie. You know, just a fun movie to pick up. Here we go, La Llorona, which is another one from that uh, universe. The Conjuring 2, still need to get me one. Can't get wrong with some Dragon Ball Z. Alfred Hitchcock, Fight Club, we got Fletch. All right, we have another shelf here with glass. Godfather, can't go wrong with Godfather, Goodfellas, Gravity, Gatsby. There we go. And this is a funny one. I have Hobbit. I have all three of the Hobbits and all three are different formats. I have a steel book. I have this massive extended edition and one with a slip cover, which is just, just hilarious to me. I Am Legend is another good one. Imitation Game is a good one. Hugo, if you're a film buff, you will like this. Inception, great movie. Independence Day, can't go wrong. The interview is just funny. What else do we have here that's good? A Life of Pi, Mad Max Fury Road. Put that movie, crank it up, put the sound all the way up. You're going to love it. The Nun. The Other Guys is just freaking hilarious. All right. Passion of the Christ. I liked it. Just weird. Um, how they, they did it. The language and everything. Still pretty good. Uh, let's see what we have. The Revenant. Can't go wrong with the Revenant. Cycle. Absolutely. Raid. The Raid, the first one was amazing because it just brought a new aspect to, to the movies. Rocky Horror. Rogue One. I absolutely like that movie. Scarface. Love it. The Shining. Recommended. Seven. Come on. Sicario. Silence of the Lambs. It just keeps going. There's so many movies. Summer Wars is a good movie. Don't, don't knock that one out. Snowpiercer is another great movie. So don't go on. The Thing, great movie right there. Trick or Treat, I really enjoyed it. Nice little fun movies. Vertigo, have you ever heard of the Vertigo shot? That's where it was invented, I think, or it was made more famous here. I think it was done before. World War Z, come on, awesome movie. And that is it, guys. That is my whole complete collection. If you liked this gigantic video, please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. Please share. Tell me what is your favorite movie out of all of these. I would love to hear what really caught your eye. Thank you very much, guys. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.